Coach, um, just my first question. I saw a couple of players that I didn't recognize here. Um, number 37 with a Rasta. Uh, um, there's a big, big, uh, assuming it was a centre-back, is there youth players or boss, trialists? Boss, or? you're looking at anything <laughs> at the moment. We st the window closes on tomorrow. Eh? Mm. So, yeah, we, we obviously we need to get one or two in, but there's obviously a one or two hopefully pending, which hopefully we can do some business between now and tomorrow. You know? And coach, obviously, I mean, seeing the game against Sundowns, um, team did create a few scoring chances, mm. but um, I think you may want to head uh, in attack. Well, you've got to play with what you've got available, you know, so you must never go away from that. If you haven't got four, five, you three, four, well, we had three out, big ones, you know, then you have, to, you have to play a little bit differently. I thought we did excellently well. One slip here, yeah, there, you know. Well, I mean, I don't think there was a... Yeah, there was a little bit here and there, but a goalkeeper wasn't making, made one save, which is a sort of regulation stuff. The rest is all just, yeah, I don't want to go there and comment about, about the way the football is played and that is, you know, so we are disappointed, obviously, because we felt we should have got something out of the game there, you know. I wouldn't say on chances created, but negating them, but, you know, that's for sure, a little bit. And it wasn't about to stop in, it was about us having a plan to, to go in at them as well, which I think we did once or twice. You know? uh, Andy, speaking of uh, taking options, uh, there's been a mention of Samir Lukovic, obviously you worked with him, a Chiefs free agent, you know, suits your style, you know, an option. Suits our style, okay. Or suits your style. Oh, does he? Okay. Yeah, well, that's why that club are there, they buy all our plays. We do play the wrong style, why are they buying our plays? <laughs> yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Um, yeah, look, he, um, he's an option, big option for us, obviously, if we can. It's become available, you know, but um, I'm not the bean counter, you know, so it works differently. But I suppose there's no hurry, he's a free agent, but you... Well, it is a hurry, because we've got a game on Saturday, you know what I'm saying, and we got, we're got struggling up front, you know. Um, we're playing midfield players there, and so it is a problem for us. So hopefully we can do something between now and me getting on the phone there now again, you know. What did you make of your new number nine against Sundowns? The new one? Your new number nine. Well, he didn't play nine, did he? You know, he didn't play there um, against Sundowns. But he's 19 years old. What do you expect from the kid? You know, uh, but he was okay. I think, uh, you know, it's, you know, you, as I say to people, you put him in that environment. It's not easy, you know. It's easy when you sit at home watching TV and but put him in there, 19 year old kid, you know, uh, against a team, you know, we've obviously won everything and done very, very well. It's not easy for a kid like that. I'm mean, expecting miracles, you know. He needs to be coming in, not starting, you know. So he needs a bit of time. But I mean, it's not often we see 19-year-olds starting, and you now you give youth a chance. What, what, what do you see in, in him? Well, I think he's. I mean, people always say, "Oh, strike uh, goals." Yeah, well, obviously goals is important, but there's a lot to, you know. He needs to play in the build-up. He needs to play without the ball. He needs to be play for the team. He needs to, you know, his, his hold up play needs to be better. So all these things need time. You know what I mean? But he's got, uh, he's got the right. He's te technically he's good. Um, ability, you know, he's not too bad in terms of pace and things like that. So, and coach, I know he's not. You know, he's the. Um, you're not the bean counter, but he's 19. But I think the club announced the one year. Contract. Why give a 19-year-old a one-year contract? Do I don't do the contracts, so yeah. I don't do those things. I mean, yeah. I mean it, for, for I, us, it probably doesn't. It actually, the like it most cleverest work. question you've asked in years. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't across the table, so I don't know. I think there's options in there. There must be options in there. Yeah. And coach, I mean, previously you've had an arrangement with the Pirates uh, for Zakele Ibasa. He's not playing now. Is he someone that you guys would consider? Jesus, at the moment, yeah, obviously, you know. Um, but as I say, I, I, you know, we don't do, I don't do, the, I can't do the deals, you know. Uh, but maybe the days of they should get the old manager like we used to have in the old days. They've done the deals. I didn't, I've never done the deal, so it's got to get done. Yeah. But you can say, I want just get me like Nabi is Boss, doing at Chiefs. It was on my list. Must I give you a list Please, of players? <laughs> We win the league by 30 points. <laughs> then you're going to have a budget of 300 million. <laughs> so, it's very, you know, people can say, oh, oh, a club's got such great scouting, but you're obviously scouting for where you pay. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how football works. And that's why I say journalism needs to improve along those lines. You need to 
get your bills in a row. You know what I mean? And in the world, salaries get mentioned and things like that. You need to maybe look at that a bit more. That's the papers. Well, uh, you know where I'm going with this. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. You know, expectations and realistically, you know, it's, it's always difficult. But we work within the constraints and we're positive and we, we produce young players and, and that's what we do. Uh, coach, your first game of the season at home against uh, John Matuka. Mm. Uh, your thoughts on that? As I said, I think they, they the team has been together now for three years. It hasn't been much. I think players have gone out, but they've kept it obviously because of the, the situation. Um, you know, they, they're, all, they're always difficult to play because it's a free-flowing, real fluid. What's the word? Fluid. Fluid, fluid. fluid in the way they play. You know, um, and you expect. You know, they 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 are difficult to play against, and uh, it's nice on the eye, but obviously we need to do our job and do it properly. Are they easier to plan against, given that they, you know, they don't have anyone new that you... Don't let any against. coach ever tell you about a plan against this team. I mean, I heard the plan against us was we do this, we do that. We don't do anything like that, you know what I'm saying, you know. So don't worry about the plans. You need to plan your own, how we structure, what are we trying to do, what are we, what's our objectives, you know. So I think you need to worry about that. Uh, we try and worry about what we try and do first. Coach, I saw um, your squad, I think you have like five teenage strikers <laughs> right now. Um, <laughs> But one that you were very excited about was Lucky. Um, what's happened with him? Well, I felt he went from GDL League into the first team. He didn't even play Disky. Yeah. So, and last year we didn't have, we had, we had, we had, we had to use him. And we used him in a few games. So, um, um, but I feel he needs a little bit more game time, a little bit more minutes under his belt. And obviously he needs to get scoring a bit more there. Um, and we took to Bang in here, who was the top goal scorer last year. Um, we didn't have as much chance as Lucky. Lucky's a bit different type of striker. So we, he did well for us last year, you know. So Lucky's field. back to DDC. Yeah, yeah he's playing well, but he's still the first team. So, you know. But right now we can't have six under 19 strikers. I mean, yeah. We've got to try and prioritize them with you. And coach, I mean, you, you use a lot of young players, uh, some coming from the DDC. Do you feel the DDC league prepares players for competitive? Uh, yeah. My honest opinion? Yes. No. Okay. No, not at all. I think what we need to have is a, is a second team in the first division. Like they do in Portugal? B. Like they do in Portugal? Yeah, yeah. Super so, Sport B. So you got yeah. Super Sport B playing in the first division. Yeah. It should be. So what we used to do in my time, there used to be reserve teams. And we played in the amateur league because there was only an amateur league, but it was a top, top league. I mean, so if you didn't play on a, on a Saturday, you would play on a Friday or whatever, and then reserve team. So it was a much better, much stronger, playing against more men. Do you get where I'm going? The disky teams are very. Either make it under 18 or don't have any under 20, over 20, you know what I'm saying? But obviously they've got that 22 year olds. And, and, you, and you've got players playing the disky league that play there for three, four years. It's crazy. They either got a first year, don't cut it out, but they keep them because obviously, you know, there's a bit of. But I think we should have teams in the in a, in a first division league. Every team should have it. Like they do in Portugal. So you've got the Fender, B, uh, you know, all these teams. And they play in the second division. Which Almost is like the, the way the reserve league was before. Yeah. Before they had the age yeah, 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 yeah. You could have But you need to play for something. Yeah. You must make it. You're not with us. You know what I mean? You need to be, you know, play for something. Interesting. Thank you.